This clearly shows that to get our prayers answered, we must depend entirely on the merit and mediation of our Lord Jesus Christ as the only ground for any claim. Tell your neighbor, to get your prayer answered, you must depend entirely on the merits and mediation of our Lord Jesus Christ as the only ground for any claim. You must believe that by his wounds you are healed. By his stripes you are blessed. By his chastisement you are saved. Crucified, laid behind a stone, you leave to die. Rejected and alone Like a rose Trampled on the ground You took the fall And thought of me Above all Oh, you are cruel Thank you. You may have your seats. You must believe that by his wounds you are healed. This means that you will not be blessed today, healed today, delivered today, saved today because you have suffered so much. No, 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 You will not be healed, delivered, blessed, or saved today because you are faithful to the church. No! No! No, 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 no. It's not possible. But the only ground for your healing, the only ground for your deliverance, the only ground for your salvation, the only ground for your blessing is by his wounds you are healed. Turn with me to the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verses 19 to 20. For it pleased the Father that in him all fullness should dwell, and by him to reconcile all things to himself, by him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of his cross. Permit me to ask you this question. What is your burden? What is your burden? Are you feeling too guilty? Or maybe you are seeing yourself as the worst sinner in our midst today. Come, let me encourage you. Don't lose hope. Jesus Christ of Nazareth shed his blood on the cross in order to save sinners like me, sinners like you. Cheer up! You have not committed your unpardonable sin. The worst of sins can be forgiven. Whether your sins are great or small, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is able 
to clear them all. I mean, dirty as you think you are, he can still cleanse you. Yes! Because to his power, nothing and nothing is impossible. We have seen a sinner's character being healed. We have seen a harlot become chaste. We have seen a drunkard become sober. We have seen a liar become truthful simply by trusting in Christ's suffering. That is, admitting your guilt, acknowledging your sins, and then trusting in Christ's sacrifice, Christ's suffering to make you whole within. Turn with me to the book of Second. Timothy, chapter 4, I will take verse 8. Are you there? Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. The crown of believers, as clearly stated here, is the crown of righteousness purchased by the righteousness in Christ Jesus. Believers have it, not in possession, and yet it is sure. Believers have it, not at present, but yet it is sure. It is sure because it is laid up for them. Therefore, Believers are missed poverty. Believers are missed pain. Believers are missed sickness. And agony of death may rejoice because this is a message of hope for you. Are you suffering? Are you in pain? Or maybe you're asking yourself the following questions. Am I really a believer? Am I really a born again? Why should I be having so much trouble? Come, let me encourage you. As a true Christian, do not allow your situation to mislead you. Because the fact that you are a true Christian does not mean that you will not face troubles and difficulties. You can be a true Christian, a true born again, a true believer, and at the same time be facing troubles and difficulties. Remember the promise of hope to all Christians. In that book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10, and verse 13. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able to bear. But with the temptation will also make the way of escape, that you may be able to bear it. Here, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did not promise to keep us away from troubles and difficulties, but he promised to see us through them. Remember the case of Paul and Silas. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, take your reading from verse 16 to 40. We are made to understand that Paul and Silas were not tortured, humiliated, and finally thrown into prison as unbelievers or non-Christians. No. The Bible recorded that they were genuine believers, ambassadors of God, even during their troubles and difficulties. But their greatest joy and testimony today is that God Almighty saw them 
through. I mean, they came out of the prison stronger than they went into it. As a Christian, when you are facing troubles, don't lose hope. Remember, trouble does not require any invitation before it comes. When it comes, don't lose hope, but keep trusting in Christ's suffering to see you through. And be rest assured that you will come out of it stronger than you went into it. Because that trouble is not meant to impair you. That trouble is not meant to weigh you down, but to improve you. Because it is for a purpose. It is as it should be by divine providence. As Christians, one thing is clear. God Almighty places us where it pleases Him. And where God guides, He provides. One thing is certain. Every Christian, take note, every Christian has his or her own place of assignment as allotted to him or her by divine providence. Listen, if you are not where God places you, take note, if you are not where God places you, are you a Christian? Are you a believer? Are you a pastor? Are you a bishop? Are you an evangelist? Listen, if you are not where God places you, troubles, trials, difficulties, or persecution will consume you. 